again, everybody, and welcome to another episode of BitNote. This is David Collins, and i got some great video game music lined up for you this afternoon, so have a listen and hope you enjoy. Hey, everybody, and thank you very much for listening. I think we'll start off with a track from a game that I've played previously on this show before. Now, I don't actually emphasize this enough, but if you ever actually want to listen to any of my previous shows, they are available. They're on a wonderful website called bitnotefm.com. That is B-I-T-N-O-T-E-F-M.com. Or in, if using call signs, um, Bravo, is it Indigo, um, Tango, I think. You, you get the thing, bitnotefm.com. It's... I'm still trying to work out the call signs. It's something I've been trying to work on recently. But the point is, bitnotefm.com, all the previous episodes from BitNote, um, except a couple that I haven't uploaded just yet. So bear with me on that one. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on it and I've got the shows recorded and stuff. And um, one of the shows that I played music from recently was from Sonic 3D. I had a nice little episode, if you'd like to go back to the archives and listen to it, as I said, on bitnotefm.com. And uh, I had a nice episode that compared both the Mega Drive uh, soundtrack for uh, Sonic 3D, Flicky's Island, and also the Sega Saturn soundtrack for Sonic 3D, Flicky's Island. And the soundtracks for the two games were completely different, both because the uh, consoles that they were um, on were had completely different audio hardware, but also because completely different people were actually made the two tracks. So I'm going to play another track from the uh, first uh, Sonic 3D game that was the one on the Mega Drive and this one is called Volcano Valley Zone Act 2 I'm not going to play the Saturn equivalent because I just like this track in and of itself but um, I think it's kind of very nice I was considering playing it on the last show and I think I'll rectify that situation right now so what we have here is Volcano Valley Zone Act 2 from the video game Sonic 3D Flicky's Island the Mega Drive version have a listen and hope you enjoy
And that was quite the track there. I kind of like it. It's got this interesting sort of atmosphere and ambience to that track. In the video game, it plays when you're walking in typical video game fashion along the basic top of a volcano. There are huge lava pits, as is very customary for video games, and despite the intense amount of molten rock around the place, it doesn't somehow manage to cause enough convection to actually har- harm your breathing or actually damage your character by heat in any way. He's just able to just jump across rocks over that boiling lava and try to get it to the destination. As I mentioned before, Sonic 3D is kind of my own isometric game. It's kind of like top-down at an angle. It's not like side-on where you jump up and down or like 3D where you have full range of movement. But it's still an interesting game. Maybe not the maybe not the best game ever or the best Sonic game ever, but I played it and I kind of liked it aspe- aspects. When you made the thing, you could get through it. And of course, there was the music. And let's not forget to give credit. The song was Volca- from Volcano Valley Zone Act 2 by Jen Sewi. I've talked about him. He had a large history in Sonic music after that. Tetsuyuki Mieda, Masumura Setsumaru, and Sirio. And as I've said, it's from Sonic 3D Flicky's Island Mega Drive version, which was developed by Sega. Speaking of Sega, um, I came across another great soundtrack recently that I'm going to hit you with. It is also it is also by Sega, although it wasn't actually developed by Sega. Instead, it was developed by a studio called Bizarre Creations, who have had a long and interesting history. They were a British studio, and uh, they worked with uh, Sega, especially around about the time that they ha- that Sega released the Sega Dreamcast. And one of their most well-known games had a pretty damn good soundtrack as well, including having a soundtrack composed by someone else who is closely related to Sega, Richard Jacks. So, without further ado, let us play some great music from this game, Metropolis Street Racer. Have a listen, and hope you enjoy.
hope you liked that. That was, of course, from uh, Metropolis Street Racer, which was developed by Bizarre Creations, released on the Sega Dreamcast. And uh, the music there was by Richard Jacks, and the actual name of that track was Club Paris. As you could see, it was kind of like a trance-like you know, music, you know, dance for sort of beat and very English. And there is actually a reason for that. You see, Metropolis Street Racer takes place in three different cities, Tokyo, San Francisco and London. And if you were a student at the time, you'd realize that you were also the head offices of Sega at the time. Indeed, uh, as I said, San Francisco actually plays a part in a couple of other Dreamcast releases of the time, such as Sonic Adventure 2. And given that Sonic Adventure 2 actually takes place in, like like most Sonic games, in a fictional world, it's kind of interesting that they managed to get in San Francisco in the end. But that's actually how Sonic 2 actually begins. Sonic is going through and, you know, basically boarding down the streets of San Francisco. But that's a completely different tangent and a completely different game. And let's get back to Metropolis Street Racer. So Richard Jacks, who of course is the main audio guy, realized that he had a task ahead of him. He had to um, actually create a soundtrack for this game. So what he decided to do was something that was actually kind of used in Grand Theft Auto at the time, but not really in any racing games, i.e. actually give the cars radio stations that has people were racing through all these tracks they were listening to the radio stations. And so he did. And so in order to do that, he had to come up with different like radio stations and with different styles of music. And of course, the radio stations differed depending on which city you were in. So that was like for Sega Dance. And I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe that was kind of for um, for like the London area. So you can get, sort of get that, you know, British dance music sort of vibe to it and everything. So that's pretty cool. Of course, it is by far, by far uh, not the only track that was uh, in that game. And so uh, why don't I uh, hit you up with one other track from that? Um, this is called, um, like I said, it wasn't just uh, in in uh, London, it was. There was also in San Francisco, and they had some more rock tracks. So let's try something a bit more along those lines. Sound like a plan? I hope so. Have a listen and hope you enjoy. <laughs>
And what you just heard there was I Can Still Believe. It is from the video game Metropolis Street Racer, developed by Bizarre Creations. And um, th- the music there was by Richard Jacks. And it, the muse vocals, the actual singing, was done by TJ Davis. And I just want to take a comment here. I actually looked. TJ Davis does not appear in the game's credits, which I think is a pain. I mean, I've dealt with this a bunch of times before. We're trying to get the right credits for the right songs. Um, if you would like to talk about me talk complaining about this issue, please remember to go to bitnotefm.com and see the previous shows in which I complain about how the, their credits for various songs aren't always in. In fact, recently, um, in, with System Shock 2, actually, I just want to make this on the record, it turned out that uh, I'd played music from System Shock 2 and I'd actually believed the credits on who exactly composed the music for them. But then I um, looked, uh, did some quick searching and by c- partial chance and partial just actual good research, I came across this topic where the guy who is credited with the music turns out to have actually you know not actually created the music and just to be clear on that um yeah i said it was the music was done by eric brosius but i found a a post on the forums that said that eric brosius saying that it was actually josh randall and ramin Dujadi who actually really did the music for that game and so that's just just goes to show how kind of confusing it is but here at bitnote we do take credit seriously we do really want to make sure that all these great artists who make all this great music and great songs and great art that really lifts and helps everyone they should get full credit in all circumstances and the fact that basically i had to do some research and ending up finding it on like a sonic the hedgehog wiki or you know sonic retro sega retro wiki i think just to manage to find out you know who exactly did the vocals for this song and then end up going to tj way davis's website and actually confirm it i just think that that's not good enough games should always get full credits you know even if they have to go as far as movies where they basically have that whole block of text for each song although in fairness that is a bit that is a bit tricky but just make sure everyone's name appears on the credit as a bare minimum There, with that little rant done, how about I give you another little track to play on? I'm just going to play with you now another Sega Rock song, this time Fallen Angel. Have a listen and hope you enjoy. Also from Metropolis Street Racer.
Okay, remember that whole rant I had earlier about trying to get down the vocals for this song? I have no idea who sings that one. Sorry. I do know that Richard Jacks was still responsible for the composition. I still know that it was from Metropolis Street Racer, which was developed by Bizarre Creations. But um, yeah, I'm not sure who actually sings that song, even though I know pretty much everyone else involved. So if you do know who sings the songs, answers on a postcard to Bitnote, Dublin South FM, Dundrum Town Centre, Dublin 14, Ireland. Thank you very much. Or you could just get me on Twitter on Bitnote FM. Which, yeah, Bitnode FM, just like bitnodefm.com. See, I keep consistent. So, yeah, just send it. Once I do know, I genuinely will update it for when I upload it onto bitnodefm.com. So, just to keep you all, just to make sure we're all clear on that point. Um, and with that, I think we'll wrap up the show. Um, this is, we played some great music from the game Metropolis Street Racer. There's one or two other things I wanted to mention, but I think we're running out of time. And I think I'll leave you with low lights. It is also from Metropolis Street Racer. It was also music by Richard Jacks. And uh, the game was also developed by Bizarre Creations. So thank you very much for listening. Have a listen. Hope you enjoy. And catch you next week for our Christmas special. Enjoy. <laughs>